It's Joe from American Trucks. In this video, we're going over the S&B cold air intake with oiled cleanable cotton filter, fitting all 09 to 18 5.7 powered Ram 1500s. This is gonna be a great option for you if you're looking for a budget-friendly, closed-boxed, oiled filter cold air intake for your Hemi. So first things first, let's talk functionality, and that conversation is gonna to have to begin with our filter. This thing is absolutely massive. It's got that red finish on there. It's got a cotton material, and it's also got silicone around the base, which is really good stuff. Definitely great for durability. Now, an oiled filter versus a dry filter. Oiled is typically going to give you better airflow than a dry filter, which is going to give you a little bit better in terms of filtration. However, that does come at a little bit of a cost. Oiled typically is a little bit more maintenance heavy, but you can clean and re-oil these indefinitely. While the dry filter, it's gonna last a little bit longer before you need to break out the compressed air and clean it out. Ultimately, you will have to replace a dry filter. This is also gonna feature a closed box design, which is gonna do a great job at keeping that filter away from any warm air in the engine bay. Also, it's gonna look really cool. You get this nice piece of plexiglass here with that SMB logo etched into the top, which gives you a good look at that filter, making sure that your engine bay looks awesome when the hood is open. On top of that, it only takes these four Phillips head screws right here to remove this piece and pull out your filter so you can clean it off. This air box also has two choices of inlet. You can go with the Ram air you can see right here on the side. There's also an opening over here on the side, but they do give you a plug if you do wanna close that off. We'll show you what that looks like in just a second. As far as our intake tube goes, you can see this is gonna be much, much bigger than stock. It's a lot wider, especially right here to accommodate for our larger filter. It's made out of that rotor molded plastic and you got the s and logo right front and center near the throttle bar. One thing I do wanna make a quick note on as of right now, the SMB cold air intake is not CARB certified, so you want to be aware if you live in a state that adopts those CARB emission standards, this is not going to pass smog. Make sure you know your local rules before you pull the trigger on the SMB. Pricing for the system, going to fall right around that $300 range, making this one of the most budget friendly for the Hemi on the site. Color me impressed. I think this thing fits great, it matches great, looks great in the engine bay. It's 100% American made and even backed by a million mile warranty from SMB. So now let's get to the good stuff. Let me tell you guys a little bit about the install. Right out of the gate, I wanna say this is a little bit more intense than just your standard cold air intake. Reason being is this is gonna completely replace your air box, unlike most cold air intakes, which just reutilize the bottom half and slot right down on top of it. So we're gonna have to open up this fender liner to get to some bolts on the bottom of that air box. Definitely not something you can't handle. Still gonna get a one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. Should take you at most an hour or two if you come with the right tools. So without any further ado, let me show you what tools you'll need and how it's done. Tools I use for this install will include ratchets, sockets ranging from seven millimeters all the way up to 13 millimeters, a Phillips head screwdriver, 11 millimeter wrench, trim panel removal tool, and a small extension. Now, before we put our new stuff on our Hemi, we gotta get the old stuff out of here. Now, removing an intake off of a 5.7 Hemi is really, really easy. In fact, we're not gonna start out with any tools. Over here by the air box, there are a couple clips that hold the bottom half and the top half together. We're gonna crack those loose, get rid of this breather hose, disconnect our mass airflow sensor, and then loosen the clamp around the throttle body, and this thing will pull right out. So alongside here, you can see there is four clips, one right here, there's one in the back, and two on the side. All we're gonna do, Go ahead and crack those open. And that is all you need to do with those. On the opposite side of the air box, we can disconnect this breather hose. That's gonna pull right off just like that. Next, we're gonna move down our intake tube. Right here, we have the mass airflow sensor. If you press down on the bottom of that, there'll be a tiny little release tab and you can disconnect that and put this little guy to the side. Next thing we're gonna need, eight millimeter socket on a small extension here. You could also use a flathead screwdriver for this, but we're gonna loosen up the clamp around our throttle body. With all that disconnected, we can go ahead and grab the top half of our air box. The intake tube will come with it. We can get rid of all of this. And one thing we're also gonna need to get rid of here is this old filter. That can go as well. Next thing we're gonna remove is our breather hose. It's under our engine cover right here. So we gotta get this out of the way. If you pull straight up, that will unclick. And then once you have that pulled up, pulled towards you, and that'll come right off. Now you can see that breather hose, and that is just gonna work its way off over there, like so. 
You can get rid of that, and actually we're gonna get rid of that little rubber boot as well. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move back to our air box now. We're gonna have to do a little bit of extra work here to get our new SMB air box in here. First step is gonna be pretty easy. We're just gonna take this lower half and that is gonna pull straight up and off the truck. What we really need to work on is this bracket underneath. We're gonna have to work on getting this fender liner out of here so we can get to the hardware that's underneath this holding it on. While we're still on top though, we're gonna remove these two 13 millimeter bolts right here. And this one as well. So here we are at the passenger side front fender liner. Now this bad boy is held on with a combination of seven millimeter bolts, eight millimeter bolts, and a bunch of push pins. Now the two bolts we're after, they're gonna be on the bottom side of that bracket that I just showed you, the one that holds on the lower half of the air box. And they're held on by two bolts that are just about right here and there's another bolt right there. So not too far inboard that you actually do have to remove this fender liner, hopefully. We're gonna remove the least amount of hardware possible and just try to push that back to allow us access to those bolts. Then we can take them out and get that bracket out of there and start with our new cold air intake. Starting with the seven millimeter socket, we're just gonna work our way along the fender here. Next thing we're gonna do is swap over to the eight millimeter socket and remove these two bolts right above our strut. These are actually right into that bracket that we're trying to remove. So that one's gotta go, and so does this one. The next thing we're gonna remove, there's a push pin right here. Again, this is right over top of the tire. We're just gonna take the trim panel tool, hook that bad boy around, and pull straight down. Now what we can do, so we're just gonna work this fender liner in and down. Give it a bend like that. And way up here, right there, you can see the hardware we need to remove. There's this bolt right here. And there's also another one that's a little bit further forward. We're gonna use the 13 millimeter socket to remove both of those. So with all of that loose, we can go ahead and grab this bracket and that'll pull right out. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and start building up our new air intake. You could also rebuild the fender liner if you want to at this point, just to make it a little bit easier to line up though, I'd recommend leaving that loose because there is some hardware that's gonna go through the bottom of this air box and tighten down to the fender liner. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, we're gonna start by building this thing up. This is basically like a filler piece for this air box. You can leave this out if you want, if you're looking for a little bit more airflow. This Ram Air is still gonna be open. I think that's good enough. So we're gonna throw this in. You can see exactly where that goes on the side of the box right here. On the opposite side of the air box, we do have this rubber ring. This is gonna seal around our intake tube. We're gonna install that in the same way. So now that we have all of our rubber in place, what we're gonna do is actually take this bad boy, we're gonna flip it over and give it a 180. On the bottom of the box here, you can see there's a little threaded hole right here. This is gonna be for a mounting bracket. And that is gonna look exactly like this. You do get some hardware in the kit. That's gonna drop right into that threaded hole. We can tighten that down with a 10 millimeter socket. Next thing we're going to install is this little rubber grommet. This is gonna be for a bolt that goes into our air box, into the truck right there, and that is gonna pop into that hole right like so.
Putting our air box aside, I'm gonna grab the intake tube now and on the throttle body side, there's gonna be another circular hole that's gonna get the same exact grommet. Now that you have that grommet installed, we're gonna pull back our old intake. We're gonna remove the mass airflow sensor with a counterclockwise twist. And then that'll pull straight out like so. And then we're gonna remove the O-ring off of that. And put that aside and we're gonna get that push into our new intake tube. You wanna make sure that's in the same position with that alignment tab right at the top. Last thing we're gonna pre-install onto our intake tube here is gonna be this coupler. You can see I have the band clamp started around this. I'm just gonna put them off to the side. This one we can tighten down. This one's gotta go around our throttle body, so obviously you wanna leave that one loose. So now that we have our SMB intake pretty much completely built up into its individual components, we're about ready to head back to the truck. But before we do, I wanted to bring our factory intake back, put the two side by side, just so we could draw some comparisons and differences between these two kits. Now the first thing I wanna start with, it is gonna be our filter. Basically over here stock, we have that paper element filter, gonna be pretty restrictive. It's gonna do a good job at filtration. However, in terms of performance and airflow, not that great. This SMB filter is really gonna take things to the next level here. This is an oiled filter, which is going to provide improved airflow. It's also gonna be pretty much indefinitely cleanable and re-oilable. So you'll be spending a lot less money on filters in the long run by going with an oiled filter like this one. It's conical shape, it gives you more surface area, and that's exactly what you want out of any filter, pretty much. Next thing I wanna talk about, differences between these two as far as the air boxes go. Now, yes, these are both gonna feature a closed box design. Not a bad design. You wanna keep that filter shielded away from any hot air in the engine bay. Yes, they're both gonna have this scoop on the side, but the SMB takes things to the next level. You could take out that rubber filler that we just installed and get even more airflow, which I think is a great little bit of customizability there. Obviously, you do get this nice etched window on top, allowing you access to that filter, which I think is a huge, huge improvement over the way that the factory intake looks with this Ram logo and all this plastic support bracing on the side. It's definitely not a looker, and the SMB is going to take things to the next level for sure. Moving right along to our intake tube, I think looks are a big thing here as well. You can see the factory one has this sort of flex pipe area that makes it a little bit easier to install. SMB, it's gonna be all about looks. We have that raised SMB logo on the side and it's gonna be a smooth bore as well. So the air isn't gonna get trapped and get turbulent in a flex pipe like that. It's just gonna be smooth right into the throttle body. It's also a lot bigger to accommodate for our larger filter. Last but certainly not least, we are getting a new breather hose here. As you can see, it doesn't have any specific bends in it like the factory one does. However, the crankcase vent is gonna made up just fine and that hose is gonna be specific for the SMB, so you can expect a perfect fit for that. Wrapping things up with just one similarity or two, mass airflow sensor, like you guys saw, that's gonna be a direct transfer over. That's gonna plug right back into place. And of course, both of these intakes, no tune required, so you can run either of these without any ECU retuning whatsoever. So, back to our install. We're gonna start with the air box. I'm gonna get rid of this lid. We're gonna get this bolted down and in place, and then we can build up the rest of our intake. And that is gonna thread its way in there. These AC lines are a little bit tough. I'm sure you could loosen up this bolt if you needed to to make room for that. But it looks like we are A-OK -okay right there and we are lining up. So in order to secure this, we're gonna take the large 13 millimeter bolt and large flat washer, and we're gonna go in right here through the rubber grommet we installed earlier and into the factory hole on the fender. Now underneath, under our fender liner, we're gonna use the factory 13 millimeter hardware to secure that mounting bracket that we installed earlier. Now there is some more hardware to install after you push that fender liner up. Into the bottom of the air box, we're gonna drop two 11 millimeter bolts. 
And then from the underside, we can follow that up with a flat washer and an 11 millimeter nut. Now we can rebuild our fender liner. We're just gonna run seven millimeter bolts in all these holes. And last but not least, go ahead and grab your push pin and run that in at the top. So now we can move back up top into our engine bay and start to really put this intake together. We're gonna start with our filter. This is gonna drop in the box just like so. I just wanna let you guys know it is a little bit wider at the rear than at the front. So you wanna make sure the back of the intake filter is going to slide in at the back like so, otherwise it's not gonna fit. And just having that filter sitting in there like that is perfect for now. We're gonna take care of our crankcase vent hose next, then get the engine cover back on, and then we'll wrap things up with the intake tube. And our vent hose is basically gonna slide down just like that. And we're gonna make sure the engine cover goes over that correctly and slot that through the side. And give it a firm push down to install. All right, so next up, we're gonna focus on getting our intake tube started into the air box. Now this grommet is a bit of a pain in the butt. What I've found works best is if you twist this 90 degrees, you can kind of get some room in there to push the grommet back in as the intake tube goes in, and then you can get it started in the air filter. We're gonna take our eight millimeter socket now and tighten down the clamp around the filter and do the same thing for the throttle body. And while we're here, we can go ahead and plug back in our MAF sensor. Next thing we're gonna do is attach our new crankcase vent hose. Just gonna push that in. The engine cover pops off, that's fine. Now I can move back to the air box for the final step, and that is the install of the glass. The first thing we're gonna do is install this little rubber seal in this channel here and go all the way around with that. And we can drop the glass in place and secure it with the Phillips head screws and black plastic washers that come in the kit. That's gonna do it for my review and install of the SNB cold air intake with oiled cleanable cotton filter, fitting all 09 to 18 57 powered Ram 1500s. As always guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you keep it right here at American Trucks for all things Ram. Yeah.